Welcome to the Smarter Money Life, hosted by Andy Mattingly, featured guest on Indy Now TV's Smart Money Minute, frequent financial expert for local news, and Smarter Money Life contributor at Forum Credit Union. Helping members live their financial dreams is at the core of what we do. Understanding how your decisions and habits impact your life is key to reaching those dreams. It's great to be back with you. Hi, I'm Andy Mattingly. Today, we're going to talk about some of those moves and goals that you need to be thinking about if you're five years or less out from retirement. Maybe even seven years out, you want to start thinking about these things to give yourself a little more time. Because meeting these goals and making these moves will make sure that you have the retirement that you really want and possibly even retire when you desire to retire. So the first thing that you need to do is really think about reaching your retirement savings goal. You need to know how much money you need to have saved so you can live the retirement that you want to live. So you need to determine how much you need to have and then start maxing out all those saving options if you're behind or set a date when you can retire when you've reached those goals. Next, you want to kind of tackle your debt and any major expenses that you might have coming up. So if you have a lot of debt, home equities, credit cards, things like that, you want to start getting those paid down as quickly as possible. But maybe you plan to stay in your house, and so there's some renovations that you want to get done. Do that while you're working, and that'll help you make sure that when you get into retirement, you won't have to use some of those retirement funds for that. The next thing is start building your pre-retirement knowledge. So that begins with having a financial advisor, a financial planner, but having other people on your team as well. So Because you need to evaluate your medical options. You need to think about Social Security. You need to have a real plan about how you're going to use all of your assets to fund your retirement. Now, another important one is, is to make sure you change any bad financial habits. If, if you don't really live on a budget and you don't do any comparison shopping, all of those types of things, that could be detrimental to you when you get into retirement. So have a really good discussion with your financial advisor so they can help you point out some of those things that you might need to start changing now. And not only will it help you in the future, but if you start doing those now, you may have a little bit more money to put away and you'll appreciate that when you retire. And finally, one of the biggest things that you can do is build a post-retirement budget. So make sure you get accurate expenses. You know what all the different things may cost you in retirement, things to add, like medical insurance and things like that you may need to add. Put that budget together, working with your financial advisor, find out exactly how much income you really have, and then try to live on that budget for a year before you retire. Because if you can't live on that budget, then you may have to work a little bit longer or you may have to change some of the things that you're doing so that you can have the retirement you want. Now, it's never too early or too late to start working on some of these goals because in the end, you want to have the retirement that you've always dreamed of and you can do it if you start planning ahead of time. That's all we have for you today. Thank you for watching. To learn more, visit the Smarter Money Life page at forumcu.com, subscribe to the Forum Credit Union YouTube channel, and look for the Smarter Money Life podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Remember, today you have the opportunity to build the tomorrow of your dreams. Until next time.